Today, Austin and Ash stand before us to publicly declare their love and to share with us their marriage promises. Austin Noel Moreno. Do you take Ashter Marie Fuentes to be your lawful wedded wife? To share your life openly, standing with her in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and to love forevermore? I certainly do. Ashter Marie Fuentes. Do you take Austin Noel Moreno to be your lawful wedded husband, to share your life openly, standing with him in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and to love forevermore? Yes, I do. unicorn, my queen, my everything. I knew we had something special from the first day we met. All this I promise you. I promise to love you the longest, be the man who always looks at you like you're the most beautiful girl, 
and I promise to be the rock for you to count on when times get tough. I will be your warm blanket on those cold nights and your forever companion in God's holy light. I promise to be the best role model for our children and teach them to live godly lives. I promise to grow together in our relationship with God and each other. I promise to support you with whatever your passion drives you to pursue. I promise together we will find the strength and support to overcome any obstacles in our path. I promise that when we fight and argue and things look the darkest, I will never give up on our love. For our love is the one thing that is special to us. It's a gift that doesn't cost money, but it's more valuable than all the diamonds in the world. This I promise you. My love, as we stand here on our wedding day, my heart is overflowing with love for you. Since the moment you came into my life, you have been a source of love and joy. You are kind, thoughtful, and you have the sweetest heart. You are handsome, however, your soul is even more beautiful than your exterior. I am so proud of you and I truly believe you'll make me a better person. The way you love me is unlike anything I have ever known. You make me feel safe, loved, accepted, and appreciated. You see me as I am and you love me at my best and worst. Being in your arms is my favorite place on earth. Since the beginning, we have fit together so naturally and deep down, I always knew it was you. I feel fortunate beyond words that we get to go through life together as husband and wife. You are the greatest man I have ever known and I can't imagine a better husband out there than you. With you by my side, nothing seems to be difficult. Today, I commit my life to you as your wife. You are the love of my life, and I promise to let you know that every day. I promise to take care of you, to love you, and to appreciate you as well. Today, I give you my deepest love and devotion. I will support you in heartache and celebrate with you in joy. Today, I pledge my love to you. I love you, Austin. May my heart be your shelter and my arms be your home forever yours.
likes you Been dancing on the clouds Your heaven sin Did it hurt when you hit the ground You sparkle like a diamond You take my breath away I'm hashtag blessed You're the beat beat to my J The way you move, move The way you shake, shake So hot and so cool Can't help but say I freaking love you, love you I've had the pleasure of calling Austin a friend for more than 10 years, and over that time, we've grown more like brothers. Through the course of this decade, no one has shown more attention, who always, above all, put the needs of our happiness first. We are so lucky to have you, have you in our lives. For us, your friendship and your heart has been its greatest gift. Seeing you, <coughs> seeing you reach this precipice in your life. <laughs> Not only do we want to thank you, but as your friend, we give you permission to transfer this love over to Ash, for she is the one that deserves your love the most. So, for, to your friend, we salute you to the rest of your lives together. Again, I'd like to tell you, Austin, nothing else. Take good care of my precious lady because I have loved her since birth. And until now, I still love her that much because she's my body body. We have shared many moments together and I will share that moment in my heart forever as long as I live. So now, God has blessed you and I'm also giving you my blessing. I'm giving Esther to you. I'm entrusting her to you fully because I know that she's in good hands. They found each other happiness. Now we all want them to make it. To have and to hold and love and keep. To never be torn apart. I pray you have joy and peace and love for each other in your heart. May you bless with everything your hearts and souls desire. May you be so in love for life that your passion burns like fire. May you truly become one in a marriage that fulfills you. May you hear and dream and prosper and to each other always be true. To the bride and groom, and now, uh, being husband and wife, I know that you will have harmonious relationship with God on your center. Let Him be the center of your marriage, and everything else will work so good if you have God in your life everything will be so uh, in the beginning I, uh, in the beginning <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna cry and I was like ah, I'm good good with this I'm I'm always good in front of people. I always can do public speaking. I'm not afraid of that. I'm all right. I can always hold it. But then, when I saw her and the music was playing, oh man, I couldn't control it anymore. And she is the best thing about me. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are here today share it with us. It means a lot to us. There's a lot of people who I wish could be here, but they're not. But thank you for taking the time out of your life to share it with us. 
Thank you so much. I'll leave closing remarks to my wonderful drawing. There's a lot of people who came from far and away to be here. Across countries, oceans, and they're here with us tonight. And it means a lot. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.